Think about, we can't measure the extent of the Pacific Trash Vortex. Estimations vary from the surface area of the Iberian Peninsula to that of the entire USA, with devastating impacts on the environment. Moreover, every year we are anticipating the overshoot day, with only 5% of the world population having access to 25% of total resources. Maybe I'm trivial and repetitive, I know, but when I was younger, I would have never thought that this would become a reality one day. So, practically speaking, why should we not believe in a less impacting society? Hello, I'm Alessandra Lorenzetti and I'm a professor at the University of Padua where uh, I teach uh, green chemistry and sustainable engineering. I think that change starts here, where we study and make progress. Today, our biggest challenge is to shift our economy, society and environment towards a more sustainable system. Circular economy, for example, is a techno-centered way through which scientists can win the sustainable development challenge. It is based on what humans are best at, innovation and creativity. The aim of the course is to create soft-skilled professionals who are able to link scientists, economics and social environment by creating a network aimed towards one direction, that is sustainability. Nowadays, we are used to a one-way production, like this line, along which several fields are involved, ranging from science to marketing. The concept is always the same, starting from raw materials to product wastes. What you will do is to find a solution to close this loop, transforming usage in life cycle. This is the change we seek. 12 different departments, a great number of human and economic resources. Teachers and several industrial partners have decided to become involved in this project. I am Mauro Carraro, I am a professor of organic and green chemistry at the University of Padua. We are just doing what we must do. Cool, but doesn't it seem too nice? Where and how much? Where? You can all do this in here, in Italy. Oh, is that supposed to be good news, you might be thinking? Of course it is, with more precision, here, in Padova. I'm so proud to be studying and living in here. For instance, from the beginning of the pandemic, UniPD has taken the front line in fighting COVID-19. Padova is a really great city to study in. Besides, our university is the fifth oldest one in the world, as well as one of the best. Check it out! Padova is a little city in Veneto, made up for students. Every year, 60,000 students, of whom 2,800 are international, can choose up to 25 courses completely taught in English. Innovating the perfect substrate for cultural growth. That's what we are doing. As a result, you will be studying surrounded by art, architecture and culture. But what about the money? Let's say how. UniPD can provide you with financial support. University of Padova is not exclusive, it is public and can be almost completely free for students from low socioeconomic backgrounds. Simply beautiful! As we said, if we want to have a chance, we need to act. We must start trusting in change, even if it appears almost... Impossible.